Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. It's rather fitting here at the end of chapter 12 that Jesus finishes his public ministry in the Gospel of John talking about belief and the importance of belief. And as we look at verses 44 till the end, he gives several reasons why a person should believe in him. And the first one is, is that whoever believes in him is really believing in the Father. Uh, of course, the Father had sent Jesus. Uh, he gave him a message to preach. He gave him works to perform. And when a person received Christ, it was also, or he was also, or she was also, receiving the Father. He says, He who believes in me does not believe in me, but in him who sent me. He who sees me sees the one who sent me. And so receiving him would be like receiving the Father. And so that's the first reason. The second reason is that belief in Christ will deliver a person from darkness. In verse 46, he says, I have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me will not remain in darkness. And, and their darkness could uh, refer to uh, ignorance. Sometimes in scriptures, it refers to ignorance. That is, uh, you don't know something. Uh, therefore, you're in the dark, but once you come to the knowledge of something, it's like uh, coming into the light. You now come into realization of something that perhaps you weren't aware of before. Also in scriptures, darkness can represent sin and uh, living a life uh, contrary to God's will. And a person who believes in Christ will also find deliverance from that type of darkness as well. They'll be able to turn to the light of Christ and live and walk in the light as Christ as Christ is in the light. And First John talks about that quite a bit. And there he ties light to walking in love and walking according to uh, that great commandment of love. But nonetheless, belief in Christ will take a person from darkness into light. The scripture says that God has taken us out of the kingdom of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his son. And that's what happens when uh, we believe in Christ. And then also we need to believe in Christ, and it's important to believe in Christ because of the words that he spoke. The words that he speaks will be what judges us. Christ himself, he says, did not come to judge, at least not in, in the way that uh, the crowd understood judging, uh, but his words would judge. Uh, he goes on to say in verse 47, if anyone hears my sayings and does not keep them, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has one who judges him. The word that I spoke is what will judge him in, at the last day. They're saying, I don't need to judge you. Uh, my words will be the judge. Kind of like a person who uh, maybe, or, or maybe it's a doctor who gives uh, a diagnosis to a patient and then gives treatment that the patient can uh, participate in, whether it's medicine or some type of surgery or something. And up at that point, when he or she gives the patient that option, the, the doctor's not judging them. The fact that he's given or she's given them that information of how to uh, retain life and to keep life will judge them whether or not they will live or not based on whether they receive the words that the doctor has given them. It's very similar with Christ. Christ wouldn't have to judge because his words would judge. His words, as we'll talk about in a moment, was words of eternal life. And whether a person received Christ and received his word would determine where they would end up, uh, whether in eternal life or on the other end. And so... Uh, they needed to believe so that they could escape judgment is basically what he's saying. And then lastly, because of the wonderful commandment that the father had given him. He says in verse 49, for I did not speak on my own initiative, but the father himself who sent me has given me a commandment as to what to say and what to speak. I know that his commandment is eternal life. Therefore, the things I speak, I speak just as the father has told me. Remember in chapter 6, Peter had realized, hey, you know, where where can we go? You have the words of eternal life. 
And the Father had given Jesus words of eternal life. And he spoke those words of eternal life. And so if we believe Christ, we're believing in the Father, we'll be out of darkness and in light. But then also we'll have his words bringing us into eternal life. Uh, which is a wonderful thing, which is also one of the themes found in 1 John, or one of the, the subjects spoke about in 1 John. And so here we have wonderful things given to us through belief in Christ. And these last few words recorded in the Gospel of John to the public in connection to belief in Christ is really encouraging them to come to Christ, to believe in Christ, to receive Christ in that way, so that they would ultimately be receiving the Father, so that they would come out of darkness and be in the light, so that they would escape judgment through the words that Jesus spoke, and then also so that they can receive eternal life. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good deal, if you think about it. Uh, it wouldn't be easy for them to receive Christ and believe in Christ here in this world, but long term, it was the better deal, and it was a better way to go. And the same thing is true with us today as well. So, if you're watching a video and you haven't believed in Christ, these are some things to consider. But if you're watching a video and you have believed in Christ, these are also some things to consider because we can appreciate the fact that we've received so much out of believing in Christ, having faith in Christ, and we enjoy these wonderful things that Jesus spoke about in these verses. So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.